use it all the time. In fact, I'll share with you a few ideas of how um, I created a couple books with it as well. Okay, so I have this little project that's coming up tonight. See my little stocking right here? Now, I'm going to continue on because everything needs a bow during the holidays. Now, if you'd like to see how I'm making this project, you've got to join me at 9.30 tonight on HSN's Facebook page. I will go live with an after show. And I have products that have not been on the air at all. We launch new things. And right now, we're doing it every other Tuesday night at 9.30. So I'm going to continue on with this project that I will finish tonight at 9.30 on HSN's Facebook page with this item. And it's all about bow making. I love bows. Who doesn't love bows in a hair, on a headband, on a tree, on a gift? But you know what? They're really hard to make. So we are Memory Keepers brilliantly designed a very easy and, of course, simple system to be able to make a small bow or to make a very elaborate bow, whatever you'd like to do. There's two different choices to pick from. You pick the everyday, which includes the ribbon. Now, guys, the ribbon is a bonus. You do not get the ribbon anywhere else but in HSN's configuration. And by the way, this is much more expensive at retail for just this. You get this and the ribbon and you're gonna get the wire for $18.95 tonight with four flex pays. Oh, sorry, this is the holiday version and I apologize, this is the everyday version. And remember, I'm gonna keep working on my project so I'm gonna make a bow with you. And joining me is Allie. We've got two items to talk about. The mini cinch coming up, Allie, and this of course. Let's jump into this one. I loved it when we launched it the other night on my show. Oh, it was so fun, Suzanne, because honestly, you're right. You are going to be making so many bows for the holidays. Look at this. Look how stunning that is. This is a full-size door wreath, and you've got a full-size gorgeous, perfect bow to go on the bottom of that, top your Christmas tree with these, uh, do your gift boxes with these. I mean, we're talking from four inches all the way up to 16 or even larger, um, and it's easy to do. Now, let me take you on a little tour of this board. We're gonna pop this open, Suzanne, because this is foldable. It's easy to store. So you can open and close it and lay it flat, okay? Everything's on board. So you've got your um, peg for the bows. You've got your peg for the spools right here for the ribbon. And so you just flip this over and you're gonna open this part up here. Again, We Are Memory Keepers always includes everything you need on their tools, so it's easy to find. Um, and then you're gonna place this down, and we're gonna pop this in right there, um, and I'm gonna grab some ribbon. Okay, I've got some of the gold ribbon from the holiday set. And then we're gonna pop this one in, and we're going to take some wire. I love that they included the wire, right? You're gonna put the wire in between these pegs right here, and then you're going to wrap it around these hooks, and that's just to hold it in place so that you can work with the bow without having to worry about that wire slipping around. Because you know, honestly, without this, bow making is kind of hard with the fingers, and this just makes it so much easier. So you're gonna pull your bow out. This is gonna be one of the tails, so I'm gonna pull that there. You can measure. See, we've got measurements here on the board, all right? And then what we're gonna do is twist. Every time it passes through this middle here, we're gonna twist. And then you're gonna stretch it out to however long you want those loops to be. I'm gonna go for three inches right here. So then we're gonna just put my finger there, fold that back over and twist. Make sure that twist happens right in the middle there. Put my finger here at the three, fold back and twist. This is so much easier, Suzanne, than trying so to do this easier. with your hands. <laughs> yes. I love it. I mean, I've been making bows for years, but trying to do it with my hands, I feel like a total klutz. It's just, it's awkward. <laughs> Right. It's hard. All right, so we've got that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna t uh, cut just a, kind of a longer tail on this side. Well, actually, I think we're gonna just do the regular one on this side. Let's do that. And then we're gonna pull the wire off. We're gonna unloop it from the hooks, okay? And pull this up right out of there. You're gonna just kind of hold it in place. And then you can twist that around and tighten that up so that the, everything stays in place, right? I'm gonna give it a couple of good turns there um, and get that nice and tight, kind of squeeze it together. Okay, and then you've got your bow. Now let's say we want here, and this is what it would look like, right? Here's the gift, okay? Little so pretty, pretty. pretty little gift box. And look, we used our foil from the um, foil set that we showed today. Um, so let's say though that you want to just take that up a notch, right? So you can make more than one bow. Here I've already made a black bow that's larger. And then you can place your other bow on top, 
wrap those wires around so that you've got it all together, right? And then here's what I love to do is I like to take, let me get these wires out of the way. Okay, I like to take a, I make a longer tail and then I wrap that tail around and that's gonna cover that center right there. Now and can so I show what I do times. when you're finishing yeah, that? I will show you what I did guys. What I did is I took a little bit of twine and instead of using the wire, I placed the twine down first, then built the bow oh, on pretty. it and then I was able to tie it up. And you could do that with another piece of ribbon, you could do it with string, baker's string if you've got that. It works really great and this is actually a wired bow. So for those of you wondering, you know, do you use the bows that come with it. Yes, of course, the ribbon's great, but a wired bow really gives you kind of that bounce in that body. But I made a little baby one, and then I made a little white bow, which again, I will finish the project at 9.30 tonight on Facebook Live. You'll find out why I made this little white bow, but that's what's fun about it. You can make really beautiful bows, and if you struggle, and basically we all do of making really gorgeous bows, this is such an easy way to do it, whether it's the basket, you're gonna finish off a wreath with a great bow. I love it, that's burlap and glitter. Here, look at this gorgeous, this is a French wire bow here in all the blue. Look how puffy and voluptuous it is. I love this too. What about if you just have a little swag and you want to put a little something on it? We even added the little um, the little embellishment in the center of it. Multiple layers, as Allie just showed you. The only thing you have to remember is this is exclusive to HSN. And Allie, I know just the bow maker itself is much more expensive out at retail. You do get the ribbon, and my most limited is going to be the everyday ribbon. And you can see, Allie, I think we're getting how many feet of ribbon in here we're getting i gotta find it uh, so you're getting 18 yards 18, 18 yards. total That's yards great. of ribbon four and a half yards of each of the four colors that is plenty of it is gorgeous satin ribbon suzanne it's beautiful ribbon um, and like you said that price i mean you're gonna pay more when it gets to retail for just the tool no ribbon included so this is such an amazing deal grab one for you grab one to gift to your the crafter in your life it's a great time to purchase it. Okay. I know, Suzanne, you talk a lot about making, um, you know, cute yes. wine bottles and gifting those with your tag. That's great Look idea. Look what you can do. Add that gorgeous so bow cute. to your wine bottle. And you don't Isn't need, you know, you, and it's easy to make bows. And everybody loves bows. All right, we got to wrap it up, Allie, because we have to get yeah. to my top pick. And I picked this one as awesome. a top pick because it is absolutely brilliant. Allie's sticking with me for it. Look, I've got my whole little crafting tray I'm dragging along with me today. And I love the cinch. I loved it when they first came out with it, which was years ago. It's funny, we did a preview look at this at my 9.30 Tuesday night show. And everybody's like, when's the mini coming on? When's the mini coming on? Well, it's here. What does it do? It literally can make the coolest albums and journals, basically any size you want. You can do calendar.